So we got talking this morning. Who are, of the 16 teams in the NFC, who are the top 10 quarterbacks? So, Colin, we break, break a lot of new ground on this show yes. almost weekly. I feel like this is the saddest list of any list we've had since I joined the show in September. Well, this talk- is really now, embarrassing for now, the NFC. when you do the best quarterbacks in the AFC, it's the best quarterbacks in the league. Oh. Mahomes, Burrow, Allen, Herbert, Lamar, Trevor Lawrence. Yeah. Like, it's – this just shows you the state. If Aaron goes to the Jets, this is why Brady yeah. has to go and to the Niners. Let's remind people there are 16 teams All right. in the NFC. All right, here we go. Matt Stafford, number one high school quarterback, number one college quarterback at Georgia, number one draft pick. The year they won the Super Bowl, he threw for 6,000 yards and 50 touchdowns. He's an elite talent. He's getting older. He's been banged up. But nobody doubts the no-look throws, big-time A++ arm. When the Rams gave him protection, he was a machine. out Joe Burrow in the Super Bowl. He's number one. Number two, I'd like to see him without a stacked team, but Jalen Hurts shows me a lot. The Super Bowl performance was otherworldly. 16 and 2. Um, I mean, that, sec- that that Super Bowl, for any doubter out there, was a wow jaw dropping performance. Leadership, maturity, I get everything I want. A grown up, an adult, focused, ascending, good dude. I'd, I'd like it that he was two inches taller, a bigger arm. I get everything else. Jalen Hurts, too. Laugh all you want. Jared Goff's been to a Super Bowl. By the way, First seven years in the NFL. It's a pro bowler three times. Oh, by the way, led the Lions to their first winning season since 2017. He's pretty good. 90-plus passer rating in five of the last six years. He's not mobile. He's Matt Ryan with better arm talent. Matt Ryan won an MVP. Jared Goff, three. Kyler Murray, bit of a head case. Have questions about his size and durability. But he's the first player in league history that had 70 touchdown passes and 20 rushing touchdowns in his first three years in the league. Not even Josh Allen did that. Lamar didn't do that. Mahomes didn't do that. He is a unique, unique global football quarterback town. He's got to get his mentals right or whatever's upstairs and the, the video game stuff, but he can play. Dak, now it gets real close. Dak Prescott, you know, his, his completion percentage is top 10 all time at 67%. So... His passer rating is good. Now, first several years in the league, he had the best running back and the best offensive line. He's come back down to earth as the team has needed Dak to carry them more than Dak's being carried by the team. But I put him at five, maybe an inch above Derek Carr, who I would put at six. Derek's a four-time pro bowler. Derek's a better fourth quarter quarterback. Derek has never had close to the support of Dak Prescott. So Derek Carr's had horrible defenses, six different coaches, instability his entire career and he leads the nfl with 33 game-winning drives since he entered the league he is one of the best come from behind fourth quarter quarterbacks in the nfl with a mess he's a life preserver for a rickety wobbly raider franchise now he's a saint seven kirk cousins you know he and i mean i don't get any mobility i don't get a big arm he shrinks in big games i mean what do you want me to say but he does give you four thousand yards passing Almost every year. Seven of eight years, you get 4,000 yards passing. Now, unlike Derek Carr, he's when you need him in the fourth quarter, I can trust Derek. I never trust Kirk. And unlike Dak Prescott, Dak can move around a little bit with his feet. Kirk can't. So I put him at seven. Number eight, Geno Smith. Look at the numbers. He had decent protection last year. He completed 69% of his throws, almost 70. 30 touchdowns, 11 picks. He's grown up. I get size, 6'3 and a half, 220. He's a big kid. Hard worker. I think he's limited. I don't think he's going to make a ton of plays off script. I think a lot of his success last year was the run game, but I would put him at number eight. I can't do a nine. And I can't do a ten. I can't do it. Don't even ask me to put Daniel Jones or Brock Purdy on there. Can't do it. Hi, everybody. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get the latest from the show. Also, be sure to check out more of the best clips from The Herd or go watch a few segments from other shows on FS1.